And your lucky video here that was just taken moments ago when members of the press or members of WCCO are being detained by uh, police officers there to make sure that they are actually members of the press. They want to see some identification. Our Reg Chapman was there, a couple of our photographers, and he it joins us right now live. And I see Reg, you, you're okay, and you got, and you're away from that area now. Are they letting you walk freely? That's right. Yes, the, me and the crew are safe. We have made it here to a Lutheran Church of the Master, which is a couple of blocks away from the Brooklyn Center Police Precinct. This is the safe haven for people who were able to get away after the State Patrol and the Minnesota National Guard basically collapsed in on the protest. As you can see over in the right shoulder, there's a lot of police activity. They are arresting people as we speak right now. And over my left shoulder is the Minnesota National Guard basically cutting off the street, knowing that the safe area is on the other side of this, their line. And if you look back behind me, I don't know if we can swing behind, these are the people who made it out. These are the people who got this safe place right here after all of the confusion over there by the police precinct. Now, we were told to disperse more than two times. And after they tried to breach that fence again, that's when they mobilized. You can see the Minnesota National Guard coming from the south, Minnesota State Troopers coming from the north. So all those people that were in there that had their cars, any of their property that were there, they were there were barbecue grills. There were there were a lot of different cars and SUVs in that area. They are now stuck in there. And those people, more than likely, their cars will be detained. They will be detained if they are there because we did get the order to disperse more than once from the people inside the Brooklyn Center Police Department. Right now, we're basically catching our breath. We are all safe. It's this ID that got us our freedom. So we're thankful for that. And don't know how many people will be arrested tonight, but it was a very peaceful night until the last half an hour when things kind of got out of control, a million Frank. Yeah, and Reg, I mean, this was also, I think, one of the largest crowds that we have seen for the, uh, the past five days, six days. And it really was. There were about a thousand protesters here. They were really exercising their right, their First Amendment rights to protest. It was very peaceful. At the beginning of this protest, there were a lot of ministers from all over the Twin Cities that were out there. They prayed for the protesters. It was more of a jovial type of feel until someone cut those zip ties that kept that barrier closed. Once they did that, that's when the whole mood changed tonight. But like I said, it was peaceful for hours. People having a good time, freedom fighters here, people feeding each other. It was more of a festive mood. The protesters I talked to say they were there because they want change. They want change. They were not about throwing objects over the fence. There were actually people using bullhorns saying, don't throw rocks, don't throw bottle, bottles of water. And then the couple were lobbed over, and that's when the mood changed out here, Amelia and Frank. Yeah. And, and to be clear, Reg, I mean, out of that thousand people, it sounds like it was a real small mm -hmm. group who started the problems that caused the police to react, thinking that they had a breach in their fence. I mean, it wasn't like everyone poured through that fence, right? I mean, it was like a, a tiny group, correct? I mean a handful of people, Frank, you are exactly right. For the most part, the thousands of people that were out here were very peaceful. They were chanting, they were calling for change. There was nobody throwing objects at the officers because at the first, when we got here earlier today, you couldn't see the officers. They actually had military vehicles blocking that buffer zone so you couldn't see them. So there was no antagonizing going on either way. It was once that fence was breached that the mood changed here. Yeah, and I know that the mayor didn't issue a curfew tonight because he wanted people to be able to peacefully protest uh, as opposed to where in Champlain that there was, there is a curfew. So this wasn't a matter of people um, breaching the curfew. They were trying to breach the fence. All right, Reg. Well, exactly. I think a lot of people were out here because it is nice weather. Yes, and like you said, I, I think we have some audio, too, of, of, of them announcing, like a couple of times you said, to please uh, disperse and go home. Hear that faintly. It sounds like he. Well, I heard it pretty clearly. Did How you? many times did they say that, Reg? 
I don't know if we still have radio. Times, they did give us the order to disperse, and uh, they were trying to get people to get out of there because that was only because they tried to breach the fence, guys. Yeah, and I, I could hear... it was hear a small handful of the protesters. I could hear her saying, move to the north, please leave the area, move to the north, and if you don't, you will be arrested. So they did give out that warning. Yes, they did. All right. Well, that's, uh, Reg, you know, in the big picture, I'm sure it's going to be a bummer to those other, you know, 980, 990 folks who are out there, you know, doing the barbecue and trying to have fun and just kind of exercise their right to protest because I, it doesn't sound like the police wanted it to end that way and it doesn't sound like the majority of those protesters wanted it to end this way. You're exactly right. The protesters didn't want this to happen. The police did not want this to happen. They say they don't want to use tear gas. They don't want to use munitions on crowds, but they were forced to because of the effort to breach that fence. Reg, we're glad that, uh, that you are safe and, and, and our photographers out there are safe and you were able to fill us in on what is going on out there because it seems to be slowing down a little bit now. Yeah, like I said, we're seeing a couple people that are coming from that area. They are coming over here to the safe spot, to the Lutheran Church of the Master. We're seeing more people flowing in. So hopefully more people were able to get out without being arrested. Hopefully they'll have those numbers for us later on tonight in that press conference that law enforcement has about wrapping up the evening here in Brooklyn Center. All, All right, right, Reg. Thank you. Thank you, Reg.